Welcome to week five of Barrington Sports Monday Night Hockey. I'm Simon Mason and in tonight's episode we've got highlights from Reading against Holcomb, goals from Brooklyn's Manchester University versus Canterbury, an action from East Grinch's trip to Hamburg for EHL round one, as well as our women's goal of the month competition for September. First to Sonning Lane, where Reading hosted Holcomb in the Investec Women's Premier League. This match saw a number of ex-Reading players returning to play for Holcomb, in particular, recently transferred Emily Maguire. Both sides will have been disappointed with their start of the season, so they'll be desperate for three points here. Commentary brought to you by Charlie Broom. Reading with the free hit on that right-hand side. It's taken by Ellen Barnes. Fired across the circle. Oh, that's a brilliant save from Aurora Mears and the Holcomb goal, I think, of Georgie Blackwood. But as it's fired across here from Barnes, a brilliant touch from Blackwood. An even better reflex save from Mears. Penalty corner for Reading. It's going to be Kate Richardson Walsh with a slap. Now that got a deflection. Was it off the foot of Lee Marsdorp? Certainly Kate Richardson Walsh believes so. It appears she's right. Here goes. Helen Richardson Walsh, lovely running from Richardson Walsh and the ball inside to Gilbert. Gilbert driving to the circle, Gilbert into the circle, advantage play on, across it comes, into the goal it goes. But I think it's off the foot of Elspeth Coburn. Reading had the ball in the net after a lovely run from Susie Gilbert. But as Coburn tries to backpedal, it does indeed yeah, get a deflection off the left foot and Georgie Blackwood was there as well. Here is Maguire. Maguire to Robertson. Robertson into Quack. Quack up against Kate Richardson Walsh. In towards Ellis. Ellis makes a bit of a fluff of it. And Lucy Wood is in, but Reading clear their lines. Once Quack gets this goal bound, Wood pops in front of Ellis. And once Ellis goes to ground, it's a little bit heart in the mouth time for Reading. But Ellis makes the save. And then the clearance is completed by Belinda Smith. Reading do down this right hand side. It's Van Berkel. Lovely touch there from Ellen Barnes. And Hunt is in round the back. Across it comes. And somehow Hannah Lee has missed it. It's wide with a goal at her mercy. First, let's have a look at this wonderful touch from Ellen Barnes to Hunt. Hunt in acres of space, has a little look up, picks her pass. And Lee, with a goal at her mercy, can't find the required touch. Penalty corner for Holcomb. And it's going to be Emily Maguire. And it's 1 0. Reading 0. Holcomb 1. Emily Maguire on the 51st minute from the top of the circle. And against the run of play, the visitors have the lead. And as the slap comes in, it gets a little bobble. And the bobble gets the top of Ellis's stick and into the roof of the net. And then Richardson Walsh with the free hit. The players come to meet a lovely skill from Richardson Walsh. That's three. She's beaten four. Can she find the pullback? She can't. Coburn was there for the pullback. But what about this from Helen Richardson Walsh? Beats four players. And in fact, it's Georgie Blackwood for the pullback. But Wilkinson there to clear for Holcomb. Penalty corner. For Reading. Van Berkel at the top of the circle. Van Berkel looking for Lee on that far post. And Lee can't find the touch. Plenty of space for Lee. But again, it misses her stick. Gilbert, nice work from Susie Gilbert. Into the circle. Shot comes in. Wide of the mark. And Reading must be wondering what they have to do today to find the back of the net. Once again, they have a clear opportunity, a clear sight of goal, but it's a slice shot in the end, and it's well wide. Last chance, Loon. Is there to be a goal for Reading here this afternoon? And the answer to that is no. Somehow, Reading get nothing from this one. Reading nil, Holcomb won. Elsewhere in the league, East Grins had cruised past Bowden Hightown to win 5-0. Surbiton continued their improved run of form to win 4-1 away at Clifton. Buckingham went down 1-0 at home to league leaders University of Birmingham. 
and Canterbury beat Leicester 2-1 with Susie Rowe getting the winner in the 66th minute. That means that the University of Birmingham still have their 100% record, with East Grinstead, Surbiton and Canterbury beginning to pull away from Leicester in 5th place. At the bottom, Reading and Buckingham remain there with only one point each. In the men's Premier League, Brooklyn's Hockey Club saw a clash between two sides struggling at the wrong end of the table. Here's all the goals as Brooklyn's Manchester University host Canterbury. Good end. Good position, Dave. Jesse, sorry, Jesse. In other matches, Wimbledon hosted Beeston and came out 3-0 winners thanks to goals from Ball, Kinder and Jewel. Reading drew 2 all with Holcomb in a match that saw the return of Simon Mantell, a goal scorer no less, after a lengthy injury layoff. And here are those goals. Surbiton continued their high-scoring form with a 5-3 victory at home over Cannock. Surbiton's win means they now have a four-point lead at the top of the table over Holcombe. Wimbledon and Reading are close behind, whilst Canterbury remain rooted to the bottom still without a point. East Grinstead vs Hampstead and Westminster's match was postponed due to EG's participation in round one of the EHL. Here's how they fared in the first two matches over the weekend. In this our upcoming game, it's in one of the toughest pools of all, Pool D, which comprises Club Igara from Spain and today's two contestants, Monkstown from Ireland and England's East Grinstead. Condon, shaping to shoot, but instead pass it. Oh, that's a brilliant save. 
but uh, the umpires are pointing to the spot he's seen a, a push at the top of the, uh, the move there close to the penalty spot it was a brilliant save from Fitzgerald so Faulkner against Fitzgerald Faulkner shoots and Faulkner scores sending the goalkeeper the wrong way beautiful execution there from Faulkner and East Grinstead have their lead Monkstown nil, East Grinstead won from the penalty spot uh, Monkstown a chance to chase after the ball here this is good pace from good goes for the shot and scores well what a shot that was I'm not sure how much Paddy Smith knew about that but Kyle Good after a pulsating run which was full of determination finishes with a grandstand shot and that ball fired in the East Grinstead backboards and uh, while we watch the replay of that last attack the final whistle has sounded here and both teams have played themselves to virtual standstills a really competitive and uh, well fought uh, game, game indeed this one is from Pool D certainly the infamous pool of death as East Grin said who shared the spoil yesterday with Ireland's Monkstown take on Club Igara from Spain here he goes again running and scanning at the same time another lovely ball inside real chance here for Garan Smith did very well indeed to drop down and knock that one away well, let's watch that save from Smith again did very well he's a tall young man and uh, got down very agilely there indeed so as uh, East Grinstead uh, pre-forecast there's another corner to defend here Romeo takes the shot on and brings the very best there out of Paddy Smith who did very well with his stick held in that uh, right hand protector knocking that one away so Smith sets himself in the centre of the East Grimson net defenders around him shot comes in too good this time and Igara have the lead and it's uh, Pep Romeo flicks the ball gets the better of Smith this time we'll see from uh, the replays Romney has got this one in. He's going to coming forward, but I think the clock's going to beat them. There it is. That's uh, the end of a really good uh, game. Plenty of talking points in it. But it's Pep Romney's uh, third quarter penalty corner conversion. Proved enough for Club Igara. And they've got the better of East Grinstead by the only goal of the game. Last week, we had the Men's Goal of the Month competition. Congratulations to Josh Bryce from Southport, who wins the £100 Barrington Sports Voucher. And now for our Women's Goal of the Month competition. Take a look at the goals and head over to the Barrington Sports website to enter for your chance to win. it for this week's episode don't forget to head over to Barrington Sports website to enter the competition we'll see you next week